Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson na to, i-discuss naman natin how to multiply radicals. Okay, so our objective is to perform multiplication of radicals. So in multiplying radicals with the same indices, so ang mas madali class, no? you are going to apply the product rule for radicals. So we're in the nth root of a times the nth root of b is equal to the nth root of ab. And if necessary, simplify the resulting radical. Now, class, uh, tatandaan lang natin na pwede tayo mag-multiply directly ng radicals kapag same yung index nila. And, uh, yes, same yung index ng radicals natin. So, pwede na tayo mag-multiply directly ng radicals natin. So, halimbawa, Square root of 12 times square root of 3. So, same yung index natin. No? Same yung index nila. So, kapag ganito na same yung index, so, pwede, tayo, pwede natin i-multiply yung numerical coefficient nila and then yung nasa roob ng radikan. Since uh, parehas naman yung 1 ng numerical nila, so, hindi na natin i-multiply. Ang i-multiply na natin yung nasa loob ng yung radikan natin. So, that is... 12 times 3, and 12 times 3, that is 36. Since square root of 36, ay pwede pa natin kunin, and that is 6. Again, so pen, gagawin nyo lang ito class kapag same yung index. no? Pwede agad nyo i-multiply yung radical natin. Kapag same lang yung index nila. Another example, we have cube root of 3 times cube root of 9. Okay? So, cube root of 3 times cube root of 9. So, that is 3 times 9. So, multiply natin yung radicand natin. So, 3 times 9, that is cube root of 27. So, alam natin ang cube root ng 27 ay equal sa 3. Okay? Kasi 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. So, therefore, yung cube root ng 27 ay 3. Okay. Another example, meron tayong square root of y times square root of y to the fifth power. Again, square root of y times square root of y to the fifth power. Since same yung index nila, so gamit yung, we are going to apply the product rule. So therefore, that is uh, y cube root. So dapat walang cube root dito. Okay, again, so multiply y times y to the fifth power. So apply lang natin yan. So, kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng exponent, di ba, ina-add lang natin. So, that is y, uh, square root of y to the 6th power. Eh, since uh, yung index natin is 2, pwede natin yan i-divide, di ba? 6 divide 2, so therefore, or pwede natin makuha yung uh, square root ng y to the 6th power. And that is y cube. Okay? Bakit naging cube? So, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, i-divide nyo dun sa index, no? Para makuha ito. Since yung index natin dito ay 2, so 6 divide 2, kaya siya 3. Okay, another example, meron tayong 4th root of 4y cubed times the 4th root of 12y squared. Okay, so same process, multiply natin yung radical nila, 4y cubed times 12y squared, and that is 4th uh, root of 48 y to the fifth. Okay, bakit? Uh, 4 times 12, that is 48. y cubed times y squared, that is y to the fifth power. Now, uh, yung 48, isimplify natin na kailangan yung isang factor doon ay uh, ano, no? Perfect uh, sa 4th root, no? Makukuha natin yung 4th root dapat ng isang factor niya. And that is pwede natin gamitin si 16 times 3 kasi makukuha natin yung 4th root ng 16. And then yung y to the 5th, pwede natin ikunin yung factor nila to y to the 4th times y. Since uh, uh, yung index natin is 4, para madali natin mailabas itong y to the 4th. Alright, so after that, kunin natin yung 4th root ng 16. So yung 4th root ng 16 is 2. Bakit? Uh, when you are multiplying 4 times siya nung 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. Kaya, yung 4th root ng 16 is 2. And then, yung y to the 4th, yung 4th root ng y to the 4th, so, pag dinivide natin yung index, di ba, 1 na, kaya, lalabas ngayon si y. And then, maiwan sa loob, yung 4th 
root of 3y. Okay? Another, we have square root of 5x times square root of 15. So, that is 5x times 15. That is square root of 75x. So, si 75 ay pwede pa natin isimplify through uh, yung factor na 25 times 3. So, kasi si 25 pwede natin kunin yan since perfect squared. So, what is the square root of 25? That is 5. And then, copy yung maiwan sa loob natin. That is 3x. Okay. Another, for example number 7, meron tayong 3 square root of 5 times 2 square root of 6. Okay. Kapag ganito class, ah, sabi ko nga kanina sa inyo, pwede natin i-multiply directly yung radicals natin kapag ah, same yung index nila. Okay. Kapag same yung index. So, ito pwede natin agad i-multiply. So, paano ginagawa to? 3 times 2. Okay. 3 times 2 times 5, uh, square root of 5 times square root of 6. Kung sanay na kayo class, pwede nyo na i-direct agad, no? Kahit din nyo na ipakita ito. So, 3 times 2, that is 6. And then, square root of 5 times square root of 6, that is square root of 30. Sa 30, hindi na natin masimplify kasi wala tayong makuhang uh, factor ni 30 na merong perfect squared. Okay? Kaya, ito na yung final answer. 6 square root of 30. Another example, meron tayong 2 square root of 12a times 3 square root of 2a. So, ganun din. Imumultiply natin to. That is 2 times 3. The answer is 6. And then, 12a times 2a, that is 24a squared. Kasi that is a times a, that is a squared. And after that, simplify natin yung 24. Ano kayong perfect, uh, ano yung factor ni 24 na may perfect squared? That is... 4 and 6. So, since uh, meron tayong a squared, so that is 4a squared times 6. Para malabas natin. So, kunin yung square root ni 4, kunin yung square root ni a squared, multiply natin kay 6. So, that is square root ni 4 is 2, and square root ni a squared is a. So, 2a times 6 kay naging 12a. Then, ka may iwan yung 6 sa loob ng radical sign natin. So, therefore, ito yung final answer. Okay, multiplying radicals with different indices and the same radicand. Okay, so anong gagawin natin once na maka-encounter kayo ng uh, pag-multiply ng radicals with different indices pero same yung radicand. So, ang gagawin nyo class, so tatandaan nyo lang, First, itra-transform natin yung radicals natin to powers with rational exponent. Okay? And pangalawa, multiply the powers by applying the rule x raised to m times x raised to n that is equal to x raised to m plus n. And then step 3, rewrite the product as a single radical. And step 4, simplify the resulting radical if necessary. Now, uh... Let's say meron tayong square root of 5 times cube root of 5. Okay. So, same yung radicand pero magkaiba ng index. So, gaya, uh, sundin lang natin yung step. Una, transform the radicals to powers with rational exponent. ba? Yung uh, previous lesson about sa grade 9 natin ay kung babalikan natin at kung napanood nyo na, Paano tayo magre-write no, into rational exponent from radicals? So, ang index, siya yung magiging denominator. Okay? Tapos yung exponent sa loob ng radicand natin, siya yung magiging numerator. So, kapag transform natin ito into a uh, rational exponent, so magiging ganito yan. 5 raised to 1 half times 5 raised to 1 third. Again, so yung index siya yung magiging uh, denominator and then yung exponent ng radicand natin so that is magiging numerator kaya naging 5 raised to 1 half times 5 raised to 1 third and after that so add natin i-add natin kasi apply natin yung uh, ito yung rule na to no 1 half plus 1 third. So, kapag nag a tayo ng fraction, so, kunin yung LCD na 1 half plus 1 third, that is 6 yung LCD na. 6 divide 2, that is 3. Times 1, kaya 3. 6 divide 3, that is 2. Times 1, 2. So, hindi ko na kailangan isa-isa yun to kasi 
uh, simulang umpisa, dapat alam nyo how to add fraction. So therefore, 1 half plus 1 third, the answer is 5 over 6. And then after nito class, gagawin natin ulit, babalik natin sa radical. Okay? Ibabalik natin sa radical. So ang 6 magiging index, ang numerator na 5 magiging exponent nitong 5. Okay, so maging ganyan yan. 6 root of 5 raised to uh, p power. Okay? So after that, then kunin natin yung 5 raised to the p power. And 5 raised to the p power, that is 3,125. So this will be the answer. Again, gagawin natin ito kapag may na-encounter natin na different yung index with the same radical. Okay, another example. So, fourth root of 3 times cube root of 3. Okay, same yung radicand pero magkaiba yung index. So, same process. Uh, Iyan na natin, transform natin yung radicals into rational exponents. So, 3 raised to 1 fourth times 3 raised to 1 third. 1 fourth plus 1 third, the answer is 7 over 12. Okay, so 7 over 12. So, 3 raised to 7 over 12. So, ang mangyayari, ang 12 ay magiging index natin. Okay, so 12 root of 3 uh, raised to 7. And 3 raised to 7, the answer is 2,187. So, the answer is 12 root of 2,187. Another, paano naman if you are multiplying radicals, with different indices and different radicands. Okay, magkaiba na ng index, tapos magkaiba pa ng radicand. So, anong gagawin? First, ganun din, itratransform natin yung radicals to power with rational exponent. Pangalawa, iti-change natin yung rational exponent into similar fraction. So, gagawin natin similar fraction, no? yung rational exponent natin. Okay, then after that, i-rewrite natin yung product as a single radical. So, halimbawa, meron tayong cube root of 2 times square root of 3. So, magkaiba ang index, tapos magkaiba rin yung radical. So, ang gagawin natin, kagaya ng ginawa natin kanina, kapag nagmumultiply tayo na may uh, same yung radical, pero magkaiba yung index, transform natin into rational exponent yung radicals natin. So, 2 raised to 1 third times 3 raised to 1 half. Pero, ang gagawin natin, class, hindi natin to i-add. No? Hindi natin i-add. Ang gagawin natin, gagawin natin silang similar fraction. So, yung concept kanina na ginawa natin, yung pagkuha ng LCD, so para mabilis natin kunin yung similar fraction. So, paano ba natin gawin yung similar fraction? Okay, so this one, since yung 3 and 2 yung numerator natin, so that uh, gawin yung denominator is 6 para maging similar fraction. No? Kunin natin yung LCD natin. So, 6 divide 3, that is 2 times 1, kaya 2 over 6. Kapag dito naman, 6 divide 2, that is 3 times 1, kaya 3 over 6. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, uh, same na sila ng uh, denominator. So, kapag... Si Pag sinabi natin similar fraction, same sila ng denominator, no? Okay? Same na sila ng denominator. At kailangan mas mababa yung value ng, okay? So, after natin uh, ma-change yung rational exponent natin into similar fraction, anong next natin gagawin? So, rewrite natin yung product as a single radical. So, ibabalik natin, no? I-rewrite natin as radical again, no? So, yung 6, yan ang magiging index, and then yung numerator, yan yung magiging exponent sa, ng radical natin. So, 6 root of 2 squared times 6 root of 3 cubed. 2 squared, that is 4, kasi 2 times 2, that is 4. 3 cubed, that is 27. 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. Then, after that, since same yung index natin, so same yung index natin, Imumultiply natin yung radicand natin. So, 4 times 27, the answer is 6 root of 108. Okay, another example. Meron tayong cube root of 2 times 4th root of 4. So, itra-transform natin into rational exponent. So, that is 2 raised to 1 third times 4 raised to 1 fourth. 
And then gawin nating similar fraction yung 1 third saka 1 fourth. Ano kayong uh, magiging denominator natin? Yes, tama po kayo, 12. So, 12 divide 3, so that is 4, times 1, kaya 4 ang numerator dito. 12 divide 4, 3, times 1, kaya 3 ang numerator dito. So, ito ay similar fraction na sila. So, gawin ulit natin, i-rewrite natin as a single radical. So, ang 12 magiging index, so 12 root of 2 raised to 4, times 12 root of 4 cubed. And 2 to the 4th power is 16. Kasi 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. 4 cubed, that is 64. Bakit? 4 times 4, 16 times 4, 64. And then, okay, bakit 6 to? Okay, palitan lang natin ng 12. Okay, so therefore, since same yung index nila, pwede na natin i-multiply yung radicand natin. So that is 16 times 64. The answer is 12 root of 1,024. Okay, paano naman kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng polynomial, radical expression by monomial? So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, class, gagamitin natin yung distributive property. So, halimbawa, meron tayong square root of 2 times the square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 5. So, si square root of 2, i-distribute natin sa loob ng parenthesis natin. So, that is square root of 2 times square root of 3 plus square root of 2 times 2 square root of 5. Okay, bakit uh, ano, square root of 2 times 2, ito yon 2 square root of 2. And then, uh, square root of 2 times 5, so that will be, okay, the answer will become, ah, okay, so kulang dapat meron tong square root of 5 pa. Alright, so after nyan, I-multiply natin. So, 2, square root of 2 times square root of 3, that is square root of 6, plus 2 square root of 2, 2 square root of 2 times square root of 5. So, si 2 times 1, ito, hindi, wala namang numerical dito na, uh, wala kayo, tayo nakikita numerical coefficient, so that is 1. So, 2 times 1, kaya 2. And then, square root of 2 times square root of 5, that is 2 times 5, the answer is 10. So, therefore, uh, kapag ginawa natin yung class, so the answer will be square root of 6 plus 2 square root of 10. Since uh, hindi naman same yung index at uh, hindi same yung radicand nila, hindi natin sila pwede pagsamahin. So, again, apply natin yung distributive property. Another Square root of x times 2 square root of x minus 3 square root of 2. So, pwede natin i-multiply direct na, no? It distributes square root of x. So, square root of x times 2 square root of x. So, magiging ano yan? Uh, 2 square root of x times square root of x minus square root of x times, ito, i-multiply mo yung negative 3 square root of 2 kay x. So, negative 3 square root of 2 times square root of x. And after nyan, multiply. Copy 2, square root of x times square root of x, that is x squared, minus square root of 2 times square root of x, that is 2x. Since pwede natin kunin yung square root ng x squared, that is x. So pwede natin, pagkakuha natin ng square root ni x squared, that is x, multiply natin kay 2. So 2 times x, kaya naging 2x. Minus 3, square root of 2x. How about 2 square root of 6 times 2 square root of 10 minus 3 square root of 6 plus square root of 2? Okay. So, una, multiply natin dito. And then, multiply natin dyan. At multiply natin dito. So, tatlo, no? I-distribute natin yung 2 square root of 6 sa tatlo. Okay. So, that is 2 times 2, that is 4. Square root of 6 times square root of 10, that is square root of 60. Copy the sign. And then 2 times 3, that is 6. Square root of 6 times square root of 6, that is square root of 36. And then copy yung sign. 2 times 1, kasi 1 ang numerical nito, so that is 2. Square root of 6 times square root of 2, that is 12. So apply natin yung addition and subtraction of radicals. So paano natin ginagawa? Since wala tayong pwedeng pagsamahin, i-simplify muna natin yung mga radikan natin. 
Sa so square root of 60, pwede natin gamitin yung factor na 4 times 15. Sa so square root of 36, that is, okay, kasi perfect square naman yung 36, so makukuha natin yan. Sa so square root of 12, that is 4 times 3. Okay? Ano yung square root ng 4? That is 2. So, i-multiply natin yung square root ng 4 kay 4 sa labas, that is 8. Kaya naging 8 square root of 15. And then, ano yung square root ng 36? That is 6. I-multiply natin sa number sa labas, 6 times 6, kaya naging negative 36. Square root ni 4, that is 2. Multiply sa number sa labas, that is 2 times 2, that is 4 square root of 3. And then, wala pa rin tayong pareho. No? Walang kapareho yung radicand natin. So, therefore, ang gagawin lang natin dito, class, uh, unahin natin yung whole na uh, yung number natin. Okay? Itong number na walang radicand. So, magiging negative 36 plus square root of 15 plus 4 square root of 3. Okay? Paano naman kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng dalawang polynomial? Okay, two polynomial radical expression. So, apply natin yung FOIL method. Okay? So, FOIL method, first term. Okay, next is outer term, inner term, and the last term. Okay, so halimbawa meron tayong square root of 3 plus 1 times square root of 3 minus 2. So, si square root of 3, that is our A, yung positive 1, that is B, square root of 3, that is C, and si negative 2, that our D. Okay, label natin para mag-guide kayo. So, una ay mumultiply natin si A sa kasi C. So, square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. Next, i-mumultiply si A kay D. So, square root of 3 times negative 2, that is negative 2 square root of 3. And then, plus B times C. So, B times C, so positive 1 times square root of 3, that is square root of 3. And then, B times D, so, 1 times negative 2, that is negative 2. Since meron tayong radicand dito na same yung index saka same yung uh, radicand, so, pwede natin pagsamahin. So, pwede natin pagsamahin itong si negative 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 3. So, copy lang natin. So, square root of 9, that is 3. So, negative 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 3 minus 2. And then, since ito, wala silang radicand na kasama, pwede natin silang pagsamahin. So, 3 minus 2, that is 1. And then, negative 2 plus 1. Di ba may 1 to? Okay, so negative 2 plus 1. So, the answer will be what? Okay, that should be negative 1. So, i-check natin ito. No? Check natin yung sagot. Bakit naging positive yan? So, again, dapat negative ito. Kasi negative 2 plus 1... So, still, that is negative 1. Since, uh, 1 na yan, hindi, ko na, hindi na natin ilagay. So, therefore, the answer is 1 minus square root of 3. Another example, meron tayong square root of 3 plus square root of 8 times 3 square root of 2 minus square root of 6. So, gamitin natin yung, uh, using the FOIL method. So, square root of 3 times 3 square root of 2. So, 1 times 3, kaya 3. Square 3 times 2, that is... Uh, 3 square root of 6. ba? And then ito, next. So, copy sign. The sign, negative. So, 3 times 6, that is square root of 18. Plus, uh, 8 times 2, that is 16. Okay, 3 square root of 16. And then, 8 times 6, that is 48. So, that is negative 48. And then, pwede natin simplify yung mga radicands natin. So, 3 square root of 6 say 18, that is 9 times 2. Okay, 3 times, ang 16 kasi, no, perfect square. So, square root of 16 is 4 times 3, kaya naging 12 na siya. And then, yung 48 natin, that is 16 times 3. Then, simplify natin. So, square root of 9, that is 3 square root of 2. So, and then sa dito, square root of 16, that is 4 square root of 3. So, meron ba tayong pwedeng pagsamahin? Wala. No? Wala tayong pwedeng pagsamahin. So, therefore, mauna itong 12. Okay? So, 12 plus 3 square root of 6 minus 3 square root of 2 minus 4 square root of 3. So, ito na yung pinakasagot natin. Kasi wala tayong pwedeng pagsamahin. Magkaiba sila ng radicand. 
Okay, paano naman kapag uh, nagmu uh, ganito class, no? Parang square of binomial kapag may given tayo. So apply lang natin ito, no? Yung natutunan natin kapag ganyan. So apply natin yung rule na 'yan. So kapag meron tayong uh, the square root of square root of 2 minus 5. So ang una, is squared natin yung first term. So ito yung first term natin at ito yung second term natin. So unang gagawin, squared natin yung first term. So squared of square root of 2 and then since negative kaya negative yung sign natin. Negative 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 5 kasi a times b. Tama? Plus, okay, yung b squared. Ang b natin. So, negative 5 times negative 5. Okay. So, ito plus, di ba, napag-aralan na natin yan, na kapag kukunin natin yung square the square root of 2, makakancel na yan. So, 2 na lang ang sagot. And then, negative 2 times 5, that is negative 10, square root of 2. Plus, negative 5 times negative 5, that is 25. And then ito, pwede natin pagsamahin, 2 plus 25, that is 27, minus 10 square root of 2. Okay, another example, meron tayong 3 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 6. So, gayahin lang din natin since uh, meron tayo dito, yung first term, squared muna natin yung first term natin, which is uh, 3 square root of 3 plus multiply natin, Yung first saka second term kay 2. So, 2 times 3 square root of 3 times 2 square root of 6. And then, yung last term natin which is uh, 2 square root of 6. So, squared natin. So, kapag ganito class ang given, okay, ito maka matatanggal natin no, yung radical sign. And then, meron tayong numerical coefficient sa labas. So, squared natin yan. So, magiging ano yan? 3 squared. So, pag 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, that is 9 times 3. Bakit naging times 3? Kasi class, makukuha na natin to, no? Matatanggal natin. So, lalabas ngayon si 3. And si 3, imumultiply natin kay 3 squared, which is 9 times 3. Plus, so that is 2 times 3, 6. Times 2, that is 12. 3 times 6, that is 18. And then, ito, kagaya rin ito. So, anong 2 squared, that is 4. And then, labas si 6 kaya ita times kay 6. So, that will become 9 times 3, 27, plus 12 square root of, si simplify natin yung 18, that is 9 times 2, plus 24. And after that, 27 plus square, kasi square root ni 9, that is 3, multiply kay 12, that is 36, square root of 2, plus 24. So, wala tayong pag... Uh, ito, 24 saka 27 pala. Pwede natin pagsamahin. So, therefore, that is 51 plus 36 square root of 2. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.